Hello friends, I'm sure you've heard the expression from many quantum physicists, including Richard Feynman, that if you understand, um, if you think you understand quantum physics, then you haven't understood it. So this is because of the counterintuitive aspects of quantum physics. Let's go over each of these concepts. Number one, superposition. Imagine a coin that can be heads, tails, or both at the same time. In the quantum world, particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously, like that coin. This is called superposition. It's a probabilistic state where the exact properties, like position or momentum, are undetermined until measured. Number two, tunneling. Imagine a ball rolling up a hill lacking the energy to reach the top. In classical physics, it wouldn't go through. It wouldn't go through. In quantum physics, particles can sometimes tunnel through seemingly impossible barriers due to their wave nature. Number three, uncertainty principle. It is impossible to know the exact position and the momentum of a quantum particle with perfect accuracy simultaneously. The more precisely you measure one, the less you can know about the other. This fundamental limit formulated by Heisenberg reflects the inherent uncertainty at the quantum level. Number four, measurement. The act of measuring a quantum system affects its state. Unlike macroscopic objects, observing a quantum particle collapses its superposition, forcing it to take a definite state, heads or tails. This introduces an element of subjectivity into the experiment. Number five, discontinuity. Unlike classical physics, where properties like energy can change continuously, quantum mechanics dictates that certain quantities, like energy levels in atoms, exist only in discrete specific values. This quantization is a hallmark of the theory. Number six, entanglement. Imagine two coins always landing on the same side, heads or tail, tails, no matter the distance between them. In quantum mechanics, particles can become entangled, meaning their fates are linked regardless of separation. Measuring one instantly influences the other, even across vast distances, defying classical notions of reality. Number seven, non-local correlations. Entangled particles exhibit non-local correlation, meaning their properties are correlated like, like the synchronized coins, even when physically separated. This spooky action at a distance, as Einstein called it, has been experimentally verified, but remains a topic of ongoing research and interpretation. Number eight, collapse of the wave function. The wave function is a mathematical tool describing the particles probabilistic state in superposition. When measured, the wave function collapses, forcing the particle to take on a definite state based on the measured uh, property. This collapse signifies the transition from the probabilistic to the, act, to the classical realm. Number nine, wave, wave particle duality. Light and matter exhibit, exhibit both wave-like and particle-like behavior, depending on the experimental setup. This duality challenges our classical understanding of the world, where things are either waves or particles. Number 10, observer effect. The act of observing a quantum system influences its state. This creates a unique situation where the measurement itself becomes part of the experiment, blurring the line between observer and observed in the quantum realm. Number 11, clouds of probability. Due to superposition, the location or momentum of a quantum particle isn't pre precisely defined. It exists in a cloud of probabilities. This cloud represents the likelihood of finding the particle at a specific location or having a particular momentum when measured. So these are all the main um, principles of quantum me mechanics. One more, number 11 quantum vacuum fluctuations. Even in a perfect vacuum, there are temporary fluctuations in energy and particle creation and annihilation. This implies that empty space, not truly empty, but rather filled with a constant flicker of virtual particles coming in and out of existence. 
Okay, so these are the basic principles and they work, okay? They're fundamental to understanding the bizarre and fascinating world of quantum physics. And they challenge our intuition, but they represent the foundation for numerous technological advancements from lasers and transistors to the potential for future quantum computers. Okay, so I'll tell you why. This is so counterintuitive to physicists, including the best of them, because they all believe in a physical world. These quantum properties that I just mentioned, teleportation or uh, tunneling or being in multiple places at the same time, clouds of probability, observer effect, wave particle duality, superposition uh, are all actually properties of consciousness. They are properties of consciousness. And the reason quantum physics finds it, and physicists, the best of them, find it challenging is they believe in a physical world. These quantum properties create the virtual reality that we experience as our own body and the world. So think about this because I can elaborate on this, but there's no, there's no problem if you equate quantum realm with quantum consciousness. And that is the only reality. Quantum consciousness is the only reality. And uh, I can elaborate on this, how this pertains to qualia, etc., and how we create the universe. Let me know your thoughts.